Okay, so today we're going to be solving an uh, electronic stability program problem which is making this car to flash ABS code on the dashboard. So, from my scan to what I actually found out is, the, is this guy here, there is an ABS sensor here that is defective and that's what we're about to get to. So, if you have not uh, solved this kind of problem before, what is the quick guide to actually do it? First of all, lose out the tires. Let's lose out the tires. Let me get some tripod. Okay, so what I'm gonna give you guys is just the first tip so you can lose this guy out. When you lose it out, you wanna find the wire and trace it right there. If you look there, you're gonna see two wires. So one of them have to be the ABS wire. So let me go inside and show you exactly where the socket is hitting so you can go ahead and disconnect it when you gently disconnect this one. And I have to come over here on this very fuse box compartment and right beside it right there you can see it right there. So you can go ahead and find how you can be able to assess it and you can see the ABS pump here. Most of you who are looking for it you can find it. You can check it right there so you can see the ABS pump right there and the wire look at the wire right here so if you trace the wire there's a socket right there so what's going to happen there is I'm going to find a way to actually assess it to get it out let me open this box and let's see if we can be able to get more access to it okay we have opened this box but uh, okay you can see the pin behind this ECU here so you need to unpin it then it to come down then you dislodge it now let me show you where the second socket is. Suppose you're trying to change the one for the for this other for the right front tire ABS. If suppose yours is having problem there, go ahead and do the same procedure which I taught you. You need to do on the driver side. Then you proceed up here, and this is a socket right here, just behind the EPS, the electric power steering pump. All right. So you go ahead. And lift this guy up and disconnect it and you fit in the new one easy piece of cake so uh, pretty much that is it guys I hope you enjoyed the video I'm gonna catch you guys later bye 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 after doing that you should clear the error code and this problem should be gone let me show you I have uh, what it looks like show you what it looks like okay here is it here so that's how it looks so the OEM socket is uh, white in color but this one here come in black you can see it right there so if you have succeeded in losing out the tire you come right here that's the guy right there so it's a uh, should be around four millimeter or so four millimeter uh, hex allen key and you lose it out and we got a new one into it okay and as soon as you lose out the other one this is the new one which I'm gonna be using to replace it so you go ahead and put it right in the Okay guys, I want to give you guys more secret uh, to removing this. What is that guy, by the way? Removing this is not easy is as it has rusted so much. So this is it right here. So it has rusted a lot. Now, if you wiggle it and wiggle it, like every other person there, it's not going to get out. I think I have to give uh, this uh, company a very big compliment here because that shows that this hub this knuckle and uh, the shaft everything here have worked a lot for years and we're talking about uh, 195 thousand mile and this sensor is getting replaced for the first time this is the one that comes with it from since it was manufactured so now you wiggling it is not gonna get it out because there is a lot of rust right there and uh, what is the trick to getting this done, you might ask. 
Well, the answer is not pretty much simple. First of all, I have to start with a, a flat screwdriver here. Use it and try to ply it from the base where it's, it's lapping with the knuckle. All right? Ply it, ply it there. Then uh, when you ply it, you wiggle it back and forth, you know, like as if you're trying to shift gear and see if it's gonna get out. If it doesn't get out, then it's time for you to adopt some other trick which I've used in order to pull this one successfully out. And uh, that is gonna be requiring you to go to a tech shop or maybe some sort of another guy right another guy who is going to actually help you get this done and the other guy who is going to help you to get this done is a weatherman so he's have, he have to heat here up with fire you can see the fire applied fire here to heat this matter up then this uh plastic you can see right now will start burning from the surrounding then you when you burn it up and you start getting red then this is where the second phase of the trick is gonna come out and that second phase of the trick here is you're gonna be needing to use a plier like this when you might have heated here up you have heated those area you can see that I heated up you heated around this place up All right and you start getting red when it gets red that you know that uh, the metal part and the uh, plastic part have heated up and start burning like this you want to get a, a fire distinguisher fire distinguisher there so you you don't burn the whole place down and so you don't burn this boot this uh, cv boot then when it gets real hot you use this to grab it like this just like i grab this plier and you pull it out then it should come out then you get ready to get it out from that place there and uh have it uh, replaced okay. yes you've been needing this guy here to unclip it okay. from here unclip it from here and clip it from here push it down you guys can see what we're doing right you use it to push it down and let that clip go down there draw it from underneath there the fuck out huh? oh he's out okay now you can see he's out right he's out right yeah he's out <laughs> okay so you disconnect it and uh it's time to go. You need to open, yeah. Okay. Now, so uh, I need to get its battery out. Make sure the key is out of the ignition before you try to do that, so you don't need to call a tech guy. Hold this. Funny. So get it down, get the battery down, okay, now you need to pass it, you can see where it passed, so you can pass and draw this one from here, like this. then you can insert the new one from there, and it is going to come from under, because of this yes. side. Okay, now the new one, you have to insert it from underneath here. You can see it right there. And pass it there. Now when you pass it there, it has a notch where it's gonna go in here. So you press in here. And that's it. And here, this one is gonna go here. I need to stretch this metal back the way it's supposed to be, so it's gonna be well installed. If, we, if yours is bent like this, you need to stretch it up like this. All right. Okay. 
okay now you go over here the reason for doing this is so that it doesn't have any excessive play so you see it right there now you get this one back into this very hole right here right now it has a lot of place that this thing can go you can see this one right here you fit it in here like this yep as you come okay i'll be right there in a second now for this thing to go in here you need to rub some oil in here some lubricant into this hole and clear it or get a, a sand uh, 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 uh a sandpaper or that's a abrasive paper to clean inside so it can go in smoothly rub some oil in the and rub in the shaft of this very sensor so it can go in very smooth so you need to find something to dress in there to become smooth before you get it in there but remember how i lay this very well i'll get back to you when i get it uh, braced up and fitting smoothly here is supposed to find there's supposed to be another place where this one is going to go to so it doesn't keep flying so much it doesn't play around too much so nothing should harm it while it's working or while the stirring is turning okay okay now i've got it uh, cleaned up that's how it's supposed to be i'm gonna get this some brick or uh, some oil you know, lubricate it to shine like that so it has to go in smooth all right now let's sit it in there let's like this and it should go in very simply and smooth all right i'm gonna go ahead where is that uh there you go. Okay. I'm gonna go Thank ahead you. and tighten up. Use your hand to guide it first, so it doesn't cr you don't cross the thread. See, now here it's acting funny. I know why. You choose to have your daily therapy in a broad daylight. I know why you're scared of going out at night. Because of Batman. Okay. Now this is quite stiff. I need to get it back. So that's how you're gonna tie it. When well, once it's in, you lock it up and slot this in place and get it arranged like this and get this one back to where it's supposed to be then you're done okay hope you enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to subscribe give me a thumbs up uh, i'll catch you guys later bye for now okay guys you can see there is no more esp uh, and electronic stability program there is no more abs light on the dashboard after the replacement so that's how you do it i'll catch you guys later